All right, we got some problems with some fractions. I'm sure that was exactly what you were, uh, were hoping for. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's, what, let's get started by setting these both into slope-intercept form. And that's going to help us at least put it in a, a form that we'll know where to get started as far as graphing. So to do that, we need to isolate for our y variable. So the first thing we do is isolate this y. I'll subtract it 5 halves x on both sides. Therefore, I have a negative y equals negative 5 halves x minus 4. Now, again, we want to make sure this is positive, so I'll divide by negative 1. So therefore, y equals now a positive 5 halves x plus 4. So you can see now we have that equation. Now, the next thing I do is now I need to isolate this equation. So again, I'm going to set in slope-intercept form. So I have now a negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 1 fourth. Now, again, divide by negative 2. y equals a positive 5 halves x. And that's now going to be minus 1 eighth. Now, you might say, well, how'd you get 1 eighth? I'll just go through this real quick. If I have 1 fourth divided by 2, multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of your denominator. But you have to make sure you multiply on the top and the bottom. So therefore, that equals 1 eighth. Just a little fraction review for you. All right, so now I need to graph these two points and kind of see what they have. But before I even get to them, I notice that these two equations with all these fractions have exactly the same slope. And if they have exactly the same slope, we know that they're never going to intersect. Therefore, we have an inconsistent solution, or you might even say an or in inconsistent um, system, and no solution to our equation. But let's have a little fun and just kind of see what these graphs would look like, just to kind of verify. So the first one, we always start at our y-intercept, which is at positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to follow the slope, which is 5 halves. So I'm going to go up 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 2. All right, and all I need is two points to be able to graph my, what my line will look like. Now for this one, I'm going to go over negative 1 eighths. Now I'm going as units of 1. Negative 1 eighth is going to be very hard for me to exactly plot, but I'll just do my kind of best estimate here. That would be negative 1 eighth. But then again, from this point, which is just below the origin, I still have to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. Did I go 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I guess I did. Over 5 and then over 3. Or over 2. 1, 2. And hopefully what? Ah, uh, well. Oh, yeah. That's up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 2. So hopefully what you guys can see is that even though my lines are kind of not straight and not the best, but you can see that these lines are going to continue indefinitely without ever touching each other. Therefore, this again is an inconsistent solution. Um, and it is an inconsistent solution where, or inconsistent system with no solution. Thanks.